Well, chill out. Another one down, huh? Great work. <laughs> but, uh, hey, there's something you should see. Take a look after you turn in your bounty. Alright, good. Get over here. Check this out. Hello, Blim City citizens. That's Clug Nugman. Blim City Magistrate. As you all know, I'm working hard to flush out all the crime and drugs from our streets. I'll be the first to admit, we haven't made much headway in the fight against the G3 cartel. All right, all right. Now catch this next bit. It's all about to change. We've learned of a bold bounty hunter who's been bravely taking this G3 matter into their own hands. You hear that? He's talking about you! They've already dealt with two of the cartel's most powerful officers. Yeah, you got lucky. I am not too proud to ask for help in our war on drugs. Bounty Hunter, if you're listening, please consider joining forces with the good people of Blim City. I hope you'll choose to come forward and meet with me personally at my office in City Hall. Yeesh, desperate much? Can he even help us? I already told him you go. Oh, great. No, don't start. Trust me, he's legit. This guy's been anti-G3 since before any of you were even in diapers. Honestly, I don't know if Gatlin's even wear diapers. Sorry for making the call without you, but the uh, club's a good man. I say we hear him out. This is your bedroom? Okay. Hey, where the hell are you going? Go talk to Clug! Jesus! Thank you so much for coming, Bounty Hunter. No problem. It's, 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 it's nice to meet you, sir. Look, I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. You're a human, correct? My men looked into it. Sorry. You survived the G3's attack on your home planet Earth, right? Well, we, we're, we're Gatlians, but... Uh... Of course. Sorry. I'm familiar with your plight as well. It's such a tragedy what happened on Gatlas. It makes much sense that you and the human would join forces but perhaps you have room for one more ally as well? But, but you're a big-name politician, and we're out there, you know, killing people. Like, wouldn't that look bad? That's precisely why I need your help. I'm having the darndest time curbing the species drug trade. I can only do so much, and only within the confines of the law. I mean, I've got my hands full with Gary the Poisoner. He's not just poisoning the water supply, he's moved on to poisoning weirder stuff now, like street lamps. We don't even know how that works, or if it's actually a problem. Maybe it's fine to poison street lamps. I'm a bit overwhelmed, and I wish I could focus more time on the G3. But you, you've taken out two top G3 officers in less time than it takes us to file a single report. So you see how you can help me, but there's also one way I can help you. Okay, we're, we're listening. This tool on my desk here will help you rescue your fellow humans. You can use it to teleport them to a safe haven my team has arranged for them to stay at until the G3 are dealt with. That's really helpful. Like, you're just giving it to us? Well, the human species is technically a drug. I can't have dangerous sentient drugs in the hands of my citizens, and you can't have your people getting captured and consumed. This solves both of our problems, assuming you plan to continue taking out the G3. We absolutely do. Then, 
thank you. Sincerely, you humans and Gatlians, you're both very noble species. This means a lot to me. I've made it my life's work to use my power to help people in need, but even I have my limits. I'm just glad I have someone like you to turn to. As a token of thanks, my team will be feeding any intel we find on the G3 directly to your handler, Mr. Zaruthian. We've already sent him everything we had. The rest is in your hands. Thank you so much, Mr. Nugman. That's all I have for you. Feel free to stay as long as you like. The view is breathtaking. All right, we're back. So, <laughs> it went well, huh? I got a message saying they'll hook us up with any G3 intel they find. Yeah, not only that, he gave us a way to save humans. God damn. You got it easy. Nothing as convenient as this ever happened when I was bounty hunting. Yeah, speaking of, we should get you a jetpack before you head back out into the field. You're really gonna need it. Head on down to the pawn shop and see if they got one in stock. Oh, and yeah, you might want to hit up Bordo's chef stand, too. It's a little shady, but uh, those warp discs he's selling can be pretty helpful. on the food menu. Hey, you got any uh, jetpacks in stock? A jetpack? Oh, certainly. I can help. Uh, I can help. Ah, uh, jetpack, huh? Great choice. Really phenomenal choice. Let's lock that purchase in. Okay, great. So where where's the jetpack? Not so fast. I gotta back order that bad boy. I'll have it ready for you in a couple of days, I promise. No refunds, by the way. This purchase is final. Fuck! God damn it. Okay, well let's let's just give Gene the update. Jorb, what's wrong with you? Why did your mother do this to you? You can't stop me from being me, Dad. You're grounded. Try me. I'll just listen to porn at max volume until you let me out of my room. And it's not porn you like. Nice try. That wouldn't bother me. Portaling your item to the baggage area now. Excellent. No harm in looking, right? All right, a deal's a deal, no take backs. Oh, sorry, partner, that's not for sale. Oh, hey, get your hands off, that's not for sale. Get out of here. Match made in heaven. Thanks. God, I hate giving this stuff up. Good 
a real beauty, and I'm keeping it. So buy some. Come back soon. Oh, what year is it? I'm just fucking with you. Bounty hunter, you look hungry. Let me help you out. Hey, how you doing? Make tracks, wanker. The jumble heist. They're gonna jumble around and heist things, and you're gonna see them jumble around. And it... How'd it go? Did you get a jetpack? Kind of. That cheapskate mister keeps making us wait till he gets it in stock. Great! Perfect excuse for a rest. We're still waiting on Klug's intel anyway. Why don't you go to bed and sleep off some of that excitement? When he's right, he's right. Let's get a catnap in. So your civilization had computers at least, that's good. I really wasn't sure how primitive you were. Hey, good night, partner. I'm just gonna sit right here and watch you fall asleep. I'm really glad we met. No, I, I think I think we're doing something amazing here. How cool would it be if we actually stopped the G3? Sorry, sorry, I'm, I, I'm just, I'm excited. I'll shut up, L let's get some sleep. Pretty soon, you know, we'll be jetpacking across all the space. Sorry, I'm, I'm being too loud. You're probably trying to, let's get you to sleep. Partner, let's take this jetpack for a spin. Can you make it over that gap? Oh, Holy shit, this rules! And Damn, you're just like a TonyHawk.com jetpack pro. I don't know why I built this town, I just wanted to do it. And now we got an empty town with no goddamn I gotta tell you, Gene was right. That is gonna come in handy. It's also fun. You can fly while doing combat. It's a very cool uh, feature that we have here. We put a lot of time and effort into it. Let's head back and talk to Gene and see if there's any new bounties. Gary, you fellas. Oh, to have a wheelchair. He would say, oh, wow, wait. I've been telling you to clean up. This place is a mess. I need you to clean it up before Tweed gets here. Oh, got a big date with your sad sack Flimborg boy toy? Fuck off, Gene. Like you've even never been on a date. Hey, don't even start, sister. I know a lot about dates. I fucked more aliens than your brain can comprehend. And even I don't want to touch your boyfriend. I'm so sick of hearing about this guy. Yeah, right. My boyfriend is so fucking hot, though, right? Oh, come on. You haven't even seen him. Why'd you answer that? Trust me, you don't have to support her just because she's family. This guy's a loser. He is so hot. He's like a low seven or a high six. And he's really nice to me. Yeah, no ulterior motives there. Just clean up after yourself, Jesus. All right, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. 
We've got a good thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth while your nibbling here goes and blasts alien baddies in the face. It's great. Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't care about your damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. Are you sure you're even attracted to him? Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about you? You just said you've slept with basically everything in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a washed up degenerate. You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's more condescending than it is sweet. What? No, uh, look, we've spent all this time living together. I, I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Lizzie. Come on, tell her I care about her. Excuse me? <laughs> no, sorry. But I am not about to let this fuck-up degenerate school me on life decisions. The fact that I'm a fuck-up degenerate is exactly why you should let me school you on life decisions. I, I know better than anyone what not to do. You're both assholes. Yeah? Well, you're gonna get this twee guy pregnant. And then I'll be here to tell you I told you so. Then who's gonna have to deal with all your mutant kids running around this house? Me! Yeah, not that it matters, but I'm the one who would get pregnant. Not the way his species works. They get pregnant real easy. I'm so sick of this shit. Look, I just don't want Tweak to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew, Grimble Dick? He's got a steady job. And yes, before you ask, he's got both his legs. That's not like a family ailment or anything. Fuck off! Just grow up and get used to me and Tweak! Come on, tell Jean I can date whoever I want. Thank you! Not that I needed your approval. Oh, fine, yeah. Team up against the depressed paraplegic. I didn't know you were depressed. I mean, I knew you were depressing. Har, har, har. Just clean up, Gene, okay? Sorry to drag you into all that. Anyway, a nice little arrangement with Clug is paying off. They sent us intel on two new bounties. So, uh, go ahead if you want to get started on those. Yeah, you know, I appreciate you having my back, but, uh, maybe your sister's right. Or not. What do I care? Team Jean, baby! Hey, are we cool? You were kind of coming at me pretty hard during that argument. And just remember, like, we're siblings, right? And you're all I've got left right now. And Jean's a piece of shit. Oh, hey, another girl on the team. Good. Actually, I mean it. I'm not being snarky. That's so nice to see. Yeah, yeah, don't get too excited. We're not even the same species. I'm okay. Sorry we roped you into another argument. I want you to meet Tweeg, by the way. I really think you'd like him. He's really nice to me and, well, he's helping me feel a little more normal. Even though his body doesn't make any fucking sense to me and he keeps trying to take me to restaurants that don't serve anything edible to humans. But, no, he's really sweet. So don't worry about me. You can focus on killing the space mafia or whatever.
Just be careful. That place is freaky. Cool. Again, don't really care. Sorry, I'm the guy. Oh, hold on, don't, don't pass through here. I've got to make you 
think Scrandal Labs is like, I mean, I, I, mean, like, I, I know a little bit, I mean, I, I, I heard a bit, so, so I kind of know, but I, I'm just making small talk right now, you know, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to fill the dead air, it's really uncomfortable, I mean, don't get mad at me if what I'm saying isn't that interesting, because, you know, I'm, I'm doing my best here, you know, 